Welcome back to Sanford Game Day. I'm Callie Talby. And I'm Hattie Brees. And this week, the 13th ranked Sanford Bulldogs are finishing off regular season play here at home in Cybert Stadium as they take on the 24th ranked Furman Paladins. And Hattie, this is going to be a huge game. Absolutely. There's so much on the line for both teams. A win for Furman would mean a share of the 2017 SOCON Championship, while a win for the Dogs would earn them a better chance at an at-large bid to the NCAA Division I FCS playoffs. Furman and their first-year head coach Clay Hendricks are not only coming off of a win against the Citadel, but they are coming to Sanford on a seven-game winning streak. Furman has averaged 42.3 points per game and 467.3 yards per game in total offense over the course of that seven-game winning streak. On top of that, Furman leads the SOCON and ranks sixth nationally in third-down conversion percentage. In their last trip to Cybert Stadium two years ago, Furman overcame a 17-0 halftime deficit to beat Sanford 20-17. The Dogs did grab the win last year, though, at Furman, making the series record a little closer, with Furman leading 10-9. So, Callie, the pressure is on. How does Sanford come out on top? You know, we saw them do it last week against ETSU, but they need to do it again in today's game. They need to play the best football they've played all season. Sanford enters the game with a record of 7-3 and three overall and 5-2 and two in SOCON games. The Bulldogs are coming off of an impressive 42-7 homecoming win over ETSU last Saturday. Sanford, in Coach Hatcher's word, played lights out against ETSU. Devlin Hodges and the Bulldog offense put up 42 points and maybe more importantly registered zero turnovers after giving it up 11 times in the previous two games. But that Sanford defense continues to make the headlines. They held ETSU to just one touchdown and just nine touchdowns in the last six games. And Hattie, like you said before, playoffs are on the line for this game. Either way, one of these teams is going to walk away from today with a better chance at that at-large bid. For sure, a big game you don't want to miss. You can catch all the action on Stadium TV with over 80 affiliates nationwide, including Birmingham, My68. Or you can join me, Blake Gardner, and Taylor Strickland at 1.30 for the region's countdown to kick off on Sanford's own 91.1 WBSU. Once again, I'm Hattie Brees. And I'm Callie Talby, hoping that you have a great Sanford, Sanford game day. day.